as great day sir Daniel okay, please take your seat okay, but before that please arrange your arrange your chairs and sit properly and pick up pieces of paper under your chair Hi, okay, Miss President, who is absent for today? Sir, no one is absent today. Okay, very good. No one is absent for today. Okay, so for today, I have here a set of pictures. What you are going to do is you are going to tell us something about the picture. Your idea, your perspective, your insights, insights based on what you see on the pictures. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, so I have here... The first picture is a theatrical play. Tell us something about what you see, your perspective about the picture. They are singing. Okay, they are singing. Dancing. They are dancing, perhaps, because it is a play. Acting. They are also acting. And speaking. Okay, it is, they are also speaking means they are talking from one character to another. Okay, very good. The next picture is here. Tell us something. What do you see? What is your perception? Your insight about the picture. The man is proposing to the girl. Okay, very good. The man is proposing to the girl, obviously. Okay, next. He confessed her. He confessed her. His feelings. Okay, he is confessing his feeling to the girl. Very good. Okay, next picture is... The student is reciting in front of the class. Okay, obviously, the girl is speaking or reciting in front of the class. Very good. Okay, please take your seat. Okay. What did you notice based on the pictures I have shown to you? Uh, Miss Elardo, what did you notice about the picture? They are speaking in front of the people. Okay, they are speaking in front of the people. Okay, very good. Other answer? Aside from they are speaking from other people. There is a conversation. Okay, very good. There is conversation between the people in the pictures. Very good. You may take your seat. Because our topic for today is all about the types of speeches. But before that, we must discuss first what is public speaking. Because it is all under public speaking. Okay, Ms. Elardo, kindly read public speaking. Public speaking is the art of using words to share information with an audience. Okay, when we say public speaking, it is the art. Why do you think it is considered art? Because when you are a public speaker, you must be innovative, you must be creative. Okay, to persuade the people about the content of your speech. Okay, next, we also have the speech styles. Number one. The frozen style. Miss Elardo, can you read? Almost known as fixed speech. Okay. What? It is considered as fixed speech. Okay, next. Most formal communicative style. Okay, next. This type of communication is rarely or never changes. It is frozen in time and content. Okay, example. Pledge of Allegiance preamble. Okay, preamble. Preamble. Okay. Thank you. When we say frozen style, it is also known as fake speech because it is it has script definitely. Its script is static or fixed. The script does not changes. Almost never changes. Okay? Aside from that, when we are talking about frozen style, it is also a kind of speech wherein the audience is not allowed to raise their hands and ask questions to the speaker. And it is also the most formal communicative style, just like, this, uh, just like the given example, the Pledge of Allegiance and Preamble. Okay? It is all under the law. Okay, next. Number two. Kindly read. 
formal style, most often seen in writing than in speaking. Okay, next. This speech style is presented in complete sentences with specific word usage. Okay. Example. Example. Academic papers, job interview, and meeting. Okay, thank you. So, when we are talking about formal style, it is mostly written rather than speaking because one of the example of formal style is company letter aside from that it must also written in a complete sentence of course with a, a correct grammatically correct sentence because just like what i said it is uh, the most formal way of conveying your message to the receiver next number three Speech style. This speech style uses, uses listener participation. Let me remove this. Please continue. And feedback. Okay, when we are, when we say Cons consultative style it requires feedback means you are consulting to your listener whether your answer is correct or not means you are asking for clarification you are asking for verification okay next number four casual or informal style casual or informal style have ellipses allows the use of slang, profanity, and unconventional English words. Okay. Example, good person, no, no. Okay. Among the five style speeches, it is actually uh, the most common because it's, it is just talking with a friend, talking about something using profanity or slang words. Okay. Number five. Intimate style. This style is used in conversations between people who are very close and know each other. Example, asking your family a serious advice about serious matters. Telling your loved one that you love them. Okay, when we say intimate style, it is a conversation between people who are very close and know each other. It means it could be asking advice to a parents or telling something about your loved one means you are confessing your feelings to special someone okay please get one more sheet of paper Okay, please read the direction, Georgie. Identify the speech style which is appropriate to use in social situations. Okay, instead of writing your answer on one fourth sheet of paper, I think it would be better if you are going to write your answer on board directly. Okay, so number one, please read. Giving advice to a family member. Okay, giving advice to a family member. Use this one. Okay. Number one, giving advice to a family member, it is intimate style and it is correct. Okay, number two, please read. Uh, consulting to, to a doctor. Uh, consulting to a doctor. What type of speech is this? Okay, number two, 
It is a consultative style because there is a listener and a speaker. Okay? Number three. Number two is correct. Number three. Please write your answer. Okay, number three is frozen style. Correct. Number four. Okay, it is judge and witness. Okay, it is also a frozen style and it is also correct. Number five. Talking to a friend about online games. Okay, talking to a friend about online games. Okay, it is a casual or informal style and that is also correct. Number six, stage play. Okay, number six, it is a frozen style. Okay, number seven. Greeting with those you know well. Greeting with those you know well. Okay, what is your answer? Okay, casual or informal style, it is also correct. Number eight, a company letter. A company letter. It is a speech type that belongs to formal style is also correct. Number nine. Between student and teacher. Okay, between student and a teacher. Okay, it is also a consultative style and it is also correct. Last number, number 10. Okay, casual or informal style and that is correct. Okay, so please now... Please get one for, then you are going to choose what type of speeches you are going to write. A while ago, you already picked, right? Okay, so I will give you five minutes to write the types of speech that you have chosen. Okay. Then later on, you are going to read the types of speech you have chosen in front of the class. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Please. Did you know that 75% of children and adolescents in lower income urban areas have been exposed to community violence? Help your community by joining the Center for Sport in society in their annual stop the license fair on Saturday, November 26 from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. at Northern, no, Northeastern University Travel Gym. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, for your assignment, please cut out a type of speech that you can find on a newspaper, okay? Well, it could be frozen style, consultative style, casual or informal, or even 
intimate style, okay? You're going to choose just one, okay? So, goodbye, class! Goodbye, Sir Daniel. Thank you for teaching us.